Bell Pottinger hasn't stood out at the state capture inquiry. That may be about to change. So far, evidence has touched on the role overseas firms and companies played. And there's more to come. About two years ago, Lord Peter Hayne took aim at the Guptas and their enablers. I do not think any British company should have anything to do with the Gupta Empire. He slated, among others, Bain, Bell Pottinger, Hogan Lovells, HSBC, KPMG and McKinsey. These companies must own up and apologise and then give some compensation, probably all the fat fees that they earned. In 2017, a whistleblower gave him bank statements. The documents showed Gupta transfers from South Africa to Dubai and Hong Kong. I handed over detailed evidence supplied to me to the Financial Conduct Authority and this is being investigated in, in great detail. Uh, and I think, I think HSBC run the risk of being prosecuted. Of his evidence, Hain has said, I will focus upon international complicity in state capture and corruption in South Africa, including by states, banks and corporates, and making recommendations to stop this. His testimony is expected to be watched closely. Aaron Bates, Johannesburg.